In response to a recent pen finishing video, I wanted to give you a more in-depth look at how I'm finishing the ends of pens. So my current method is using this jig from PSI, Penn State Industries, and you can make one of these yourself, but it is a really nice jig and it's very effective. You can use this on any diameter tube you'd like for different sized pens. And you could use pen sleeves since the shaft is seven millimeters. And you can buy those with various kits. Or you don't have to use any sleeves and you'll just need to apply downward pressure to keep the pen barrel in place. I use my eight inch disc sander and you wanna make sure that it's square. You can use a belt sander if you don't have a disc sander, that'll work. Or you can use your lathe too and make a disc sander. I currently have a 320 grit disc and I recommend 220 grit and above. Anything lower has very large sanding particles that can really damage the ends of your pen. I have a bunch of new discs that I have with different grits and this is also a 320 and I need to put this on. You can see how nice the new one is compared to the old one that is pretty much destroyed and I need to replace it. You can attach this jig or clamp the jig or make its own miter sliding system for it. I just use it freely and hold it down with my left hand. You'll want to leave a little bit of space between the rod and the sanding disc. Not too much space or it can pull the jig and your pen blank down. When I actually go to sand the end of the barrel, I'll push down with a couple of fingers and I'll rotate it slightly um, in either direction, it doesn't really matter. And I'll only apply a light touch to the sanding disc and only for a few seconds. And that's all it takes, it's really quick. Here's a shot of me cleaning up a barrel without a sleeve. You can see that it's really loose, but I'll hold it down and it still works fine. Sometimes you can get large pieces of CA glue sticking off the end and I recommend just trimming those off before sanding. I used to, for years, hand sand the ends of pen barrels or pencil barrels with either a dry sandpaper or a wet sandpaper, and that worked fine for many years. It's just a lot more time consuming. And if you slip, you could mess up the finish or round the, over the edge of the barrels. You can also use this jig in place of barrel trimmers. I don't, I still use barrel trimmers because I like to clean out the tubes, but you can. The length of the barrels never change when I'm using the sanding jig because I'm using such a light touch. I'm only removing the CA, which most of the time is protruding farther than the brass barrel. So it really just flushes up the ends. Hope you enjoyed another one of these little tip videos. Stay safe in your shop at all times. Take care and thank you.